Closed down in the wake of the crypto outbreak that left dozens of people sick on the North Shore. The pool at the Jewish Community Center in Whitefish Bay is reopening today after it was voluntarily closed, drained, and then cleaned just as a precaution. And that's where our Jonah Kaplan joins us live from this morning. Hi, Jonah. Yeah, good morning, Susan. Pleasant good morning, everybody. We're walking around the JCC this morning, and I found this sign that they were uh, just taking down. Talked about crypto, and it talked about the pool being closed, and it said the goal is to reopen the pools on Friday, October 11th, which just so happens to be today, and it was a really big job to do all of this and to make it all clean once again. And with us now, we have Mark Shapiro, who's the executive director of the JCC. Mark, tell us a little bit about, if you can, just what went into this entire process. Well, so... We, uh, we followed the directions of the North Shore Health Department, came in and, and said to us, you know, listen, one of the best ways to try and stop this spread for, uh, of cryptosporidium in the North Shore was to close the pools. It wasn't so much about whether or not the pool actually had cryptosporidium, which we don't ever know if it did or didn't. The truth is we, we don't believe it was ever really in our pool, except for the fact that some of our members had gotten it. But it was about trying to figure out how to stop it. So what we did was we emptied out our pools, got rid of all the water, and used this chance to do some of our general maintenance. As you can see, almost every one of the lanes is filled here early on a you know, Friday morning, and our swimmers really love being in our ozone filtration swimming pool. So we didn't want to have to shut it down for general maintenance again, so we used this chance. We regrouted our pools, we scrubbed them clean, we cleaned our filters. Um, we actually brought in somebody to you know, make sure that our ozone filtration system was working on our pool and uh, brought us back to a you know, beautiful day like today. And as what you mentioned, that it took even more chlorine to get it out of there. So coming up, coming up live here on Daybreak, we'll learn more about just what it meant, though, for JCC to close it for the past 10 days, how much it cost, and what kind of burden it was, perhaps, on the people who belong here. Live in Whitefish Bay, Jonah Kaplan, today's TMJ4. All right, Jonah, thank you very much. It's 533, and now to a today's TMJ4 exclusive.